Hello, welcome to this video uh, about how to install uh, the Kyle MDK toolchain. Um, you've got an, uh, an email where to download uh, these two files. One is an exe file, an installer, and one is another one is the zip file that uh, we will be using during this video. Um, installation is for the basic toolchain pretty straightforward. Simply um, double click on the exe file after a while uh, it will open this uh, view um, it will explain to you that it will install mdk arm version 538a and for the rest you can just press next of course, you have to agree with the license agreement. Press next. Then um, double check this. Um, it should install in C uh, Kyle underscore V5. This is all default, so it should be OK, but double check it. Press next again. Then you can enter your details. So my name. First name, last name, company, and uh, my email address. And then press next. And then it will just install everything necessary. During the installation, you might have seen several sc different screens, but in the end, you will up and here. Uh, you can just keep this like it is. Uh, you won't have uh, previous releases revisions of microvision but still won't hurt so press finish as you can see somehow the release notes were opened and you can read them if you want to but for now we are going to check what the pack installer tells us well okay um, you get a pop-up with a welcome to the pack installer and uh, you can if you want to see this every time you can check this box but we won't do that so it's simply press ok and then we will move this up uh, make it a little bit smaller and as you can see it's busy here and it still has a lot of work to do so we will just patiently wait until everything is ready Um, when it's ready, you see here completed requested actions and now we have to select a certain board because we are going to use that during the course. Go to Texas Instruments, select the Tiva C series, then the 123X and scroll down until you got to uh, this one. TM4C123GH6PM, select it, and then up here above you see device specific, some support for the Tiva C series, and we have to install this package. So press install and it will be installed. You see things happening below again that it's busy. And this will also take a while. When it's ready, you will see that the DFP drivers or software is up to date. And then we are ready. So we can just close this window. And then everything uh, has been installed. We can check it by simply Check this, and we can see that the Kyle application has been installed. Well, that's it for now. Um, if any more things are necessary for the installation, you will see this in subsequent videos or instructions given by your lecturer. Thank you, and see you next time.